I'm Ariane Arambiro with your FastCast Digital Headlines for this Tuesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following, the city will not pursue a warming center in Fairview at this time. The warming center was meant to open this month and then got pushed back to January, but now it's likely it won't open at all. There was strong opposition from neighbors and the Fairview Community Council, which feared that attracting more homeless people to the area would be a replay of what happened when the Sullivan Arena was used as an emergency shelter, according to Anchorage's homeless coordinator on Saturday. What about the people that are being cold? What about the people that are still out there? It's really important for us to, you know, spend taxpayer dollars well and, and to make sure that we're not wasting funds on, on projects that the community doesn't support. So there were still 30 beds available at the city's emergency cold weather shelter where people can go to get warm. A proposed ordinance could offer some relief to builders when it comes to housing construction. The ordinance would reduce the minimum lot requirement for triple and fourplex homes. The assembly says since 1999, less than three dozen tripleplex homes have been built in Anchorage, which are often more affordable housing options for residents. The Anchorage Assembly will continue public hearings on this matter at its December 19th assembly meeting. If it passes, it would go into effect on January 1st of 2024. There's a big economic boost coming for rural Alaskan communities just announced more than $9 million in infrastructure improvement projects from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. The funding will be for 21 projects ranging from housing improvements to water and wastewater projects. The communities include Seldovia, where two and a half million will go toward dealing with sewage issues, and McCork, where just over $1 million will go toward replacing flush tank and haul units to eight homes. The funding will also go toward projects to improve sanitation at the community washeteria bathrooms. And a reminder, Christmas is just two weeks away. It is time to get those packages in the mail if you want them to arrive on time. Experts at the Mail Center say you have until next Wednesday, the 20th, to ship off items that you want to arrive by Christmas. And to avoid porch pirates and bad weather, remember, you can always get your items safely shipped to your local mail center and then pick them up at your convenience. Those are your fast cast digital headlines for this Tuesday. I'm Arianne Aaron Bureau. Have a great day and thanks for watching.